This meeting between the FCT minister and the top security personnel is coming less than 48 hours to the partial relaxation of lockdown in the Federal Capital Territory. Speaking after the over one hour meeting, the FCT minister tasks them to ensure strict border enforcement to prevent persons from highly coronavirus endemic state from gaining access into the FCT. But more specifically with regards to the ban on interstate movement, we intend with the support and cooperation of all the security agencies within the FCT represented by the military, that's by the army, by the Air Force, by the Navy, as well as the Civil Defense Corps, the Nigerian Police, as well as the Road Safety, have all agreed unanimously to provide additional men and resources at all entry points using coordinated joint teams to be headed by very senior officers to ensure that this enforcement is done totally. The minister also urged residents who are not on the exemption and permission list to still remain at home from Monday. Offices are open for specific categories of staff on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and within a specific time range of 8 a.m to 2 p.m. So my advice is anybody who has no reason to come out based on these directives should just stay at home. Speaking, Chairman of the Ministerial Enforcement on COVID-19, Ikaru Atta, assures that the minister directive will be implemented to the latter. On Monday, there will be no market. On Monday, uh, the civil servant that will come in at level 14 and above and few who are on the essential list. On Monday, we'll be carrying out intensive checking. On Monday, the borders of the city will be closed. On Monday, there will be curfew until 6 a.m., uh, which will resume again at 8 p.m. On Monday, we'll be tight. It's not business for all. We cannot fold our hands and watch Abuja slide the way some states are doing. Atta appealed to residents to join hands with the government to fight the spread of COVID-19 in the FCT. Evie Aguari. ITV News, Abuja.